Morning y'all, I've got my ant flu. The worst flu you can get. Right, traveling back today, so I'm gonna head up to breakfast now. I'm a little late. We've got the tour truck over here, the Titleist tour truck for the Team Titleist day. And I reckon we have a rummage round there today. Right, there is the tour truck. Let's have a proper good rummage through and see what we can find in this little golfer's playground. It's like a proper like toy shop in there. Let's go and have a look. So there are golf balls in here today, but I've been in this truck lots of times and there isn't that many golf balls that I see. What happens to the golf balls? No, so usually on a on a day-to-day -day basis, when we kind of arrive on site on a Monday, what we do, we've got a team at the front of the truck and we'll kind of go through the player listing, who's playing, so we know what golf balls they're playing. And we'll put usually about three dozen balls in their lockers, along with hats and gloves. So the, ball, the balls are usually located in the player's locker in the clubhouse, should okay. the event have um should the event be able to cope with that yeah 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 if they can't cope with that if there's no lockers for the players or it's a little bit unsafe in there or yeah. you know, and what we kind of do is that we'll have all the golf balls prepared inside the truck in the front of the truck and then we'll wait for the players to kind of come in and then we'll hand them their the goodies as they yeah, when I think they it was arrived. a scottish i saw there were loads of you were outside there with loads of white bags that's right loads goodies. of white bags full of goodies yeah so it's always nice when you kind of they kind of see that yeah but yeah usually kind of uh, get everything ready on the monday morning in the scottish we were kind of taking them to their lockers yeah uh, but there have been one or two events this year where they just haven't had the kind of facility to kind of do it so we'll kind of leave the bags in on the truck and then hand them to the players as they as when they arrive otherwise i guess you would just have a lot of players because obviously the ball count is ridiculously high most events you would just yeah. truck because i've been on this trucking event and it can get busy if they were coming just to pick up golf balls i guess it, that could get quite messy it does it? get busy um and certain events as well there are different golf courses right so this, yeah, so this week at the dunhill for yeah. example there's three golf courses so which proves the logistical yes time bomb as it were so you putting them in three different course lockers no there? so we, we this, this week at the dunhill we were located at st andrews right and the players will generally kind of uh, do like a rotation as when they're kind of doing their practice rounds. so that was a little bit easier this week because it's not a hundred odd players at yeah, once yeah. come in on the Monday morning, so it's a little bit easier. And commonly as well, how many balls are they using around? That's such a common question I get. Do you know how many there are? Is it every hole? Or varies, it? varies from player to player. Yeah. So you know, there's a kind of um, it's like Jordan Spieth and kind of Jimmy Walker over in the States. They kind of were prolific changes when we made some upgrades to the cover system in, in a couple of generations ago in the 2015 ball. They would typically use one ball per round now. Okay. So like. Um, when, for example, Jordan Spieth uh, a couple of seasons ago had that really good Australian Open, yeah. um, he used uh, one ball per round uh, each day. Okay, so it wasn't changing per hole. Wasn't changing ball. No, didn't need to. Didn't need to. Good stuff. Right, look. Look at this. So in this truck, it's, it's different to others actually that I've been on. Do you do have a big work and communal area? And this area, when you go on events, subject to what the weather's doing, can really fill up. So if the weather starts doing this kind of thing, where you get a little bit of rain and wind, quite a cool place to come and hang out because the players just sit and chat, you hear some pretty interesting stories, they talk pretty openly. It's a real fun place to be. So this, it's, I would say, have you been on other trucks? This is quite a big communal area, isn't it? I've been on other trucks, yeah. Yeah. In Normally this bit's smaller and then there's like an office up there. Yeah. This is quite, quite a big hang. It can get quite busy in here, can't it? Very busy. So this tends to be like a, a hub for the players as their downtime. Yeah. Like so if the weather's poor like outside like it is today, a lot of the players will kind of come in after they've kind of hit balls. They'll kind of come in, hang out. Yeah. Um, Share stories, like you I, say. Well, I've had some of my best chats with players on, in yeah. this bit because they're just happy, just for very chat. relaxed environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in oh, some cases, there's a lot of them in here. You yeah. kind of need to get them out. But, yeah, but I've yeah. Seen that <laughs> yeah. As well. Come on, guys. I'm trying to do some work. Exactly. Please. But um, but obviously, yeah, yeah, the door's always open for any player, whether they're titleless or not. Um, yeah, because yeah. I have seen other players. Plenty of players will kind of come in, and you know, I think a lot of our team have kind of been out on tour for for a number of years, and yeah. they players may have been titleless in the past, and yeah. the relationships have been built. So yeah, and um, we tend to get everyone. Obviously, a lot of players use the golf balls. So we tend to get a lot of players anyway yeah. uh, onto the truck. But but yeah, it's. Uh, it's nice having a communal area. It's almost like a safe place for them to kind of come and what Hang stays out. on the trucks, uh, what set, set set on the, the truck truck. stays on the truck. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, so we're in the workshop part of the van. 
or the truck and I'm about to stamp a wedge. And you really are gonna let me in here uh, run yeah. rock. Oh, that's heavy, isn't it? It is heavy. <laughs> so I am gonna stamp a wedge. Uh, it magnify, it's a um, magnet, it's locking that in actually. It's quite powerful magnet. So I'm going to stamp this wedge. You can win this wedge. I'll show you how to win this wedge at the end. But I can only apologise for the kind of state this wedge is going to end up in. You Right, so I'm going to have a little practice first. That's what all this is around it. It's exactly that, yeah, it's exactly it? that. <laughs> so you just want to hold it down here and just hit it gently on the top. Just give it a nice and that's little... it, and that's the two it's just done oh, there. Yeah, that is nice. What do you do with this now? That's just redundant now. Right, so I'm just going to have a go here. How do I know which so way around that? On, on the front of there, that's, so that'll do oh, it. So that'll, that'll come out like that. So if I was doing it there, like, right, yes. So hold that top, this tight. Yeah, yeah. And then give it a good old. There we go. Look, I'm good at that. You got it. I'm a natural. This, this is softer than this. So you might have to hit it a little harder. <laughs> this is softer than that? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. In theory, can I hit this wedge anywhere? Do we want that? So I could put it on the sole? It'd be I'm not harder. gonna. It's harder, Yeah. you can. Anywhere on there we could stamp on, yeah. So I'm gonna go just on the bottom here. But a little harder. I'm not shaking. Are you nervous? I'm, I've got man flu. <laughs> that was quite a leak. That's a good not one. Bad. Yeah, not yeah, bad. I'm good at this. If you got a point, have you got a full stop? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost missed that one a little bit, but that's in. Good. Is that alright? Yeah. It's a bit far away. Spreading it out on purpose. <laughs> oh, it's a little further away, but it works. Okay. So you have, let's have a point five for the lulls. Oh, oh, this is a small one, isn't it? Yeah, like that. It's a good contact. What's the most you literally you I mean that one you just showed me, I guess you we could just go all day, yeah, couldn't you? Up, you just yeah. we've got some smaller letters and stuff, we can fill it up. Yeah. Well I would definitely not buy that stamping personally, but someone could win it for free. It's 26 2.5 it looks like, doesn't it? It's done it and it'll, it'll start the flow. Oh, so we paint and then we're now going to paint and then we're so I guess you just go over it, it yeah. fills it, and then you wipe it off and it stays. You're going to do it though, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Look at that. Well, what's that gap about? What have I done there? Put it onto that and then just wipe it off. Okay, so we're now just going to. There we go. 2.5 wedge. That's for me. <laughs> Repairs at the pro. I never did repairs in the pro shop. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> so, how quick a turnaround on clubs? So, let's say I'm out there with Liam. Yep. And I want, let's go basic first. I just want a driver with a different, sh with a different shaft than I've got. Yep. That's simple, isn't it? Because obviously, sure. It's pretty quick, yeah. just clicking it in. I mean, he could yep. do that on the range. He could. But I want a quicker grip on it. Okay. And I'm going to go and have a practice round in 10 minutes. Okay, that's, we could do a grip change, it takes about a minute. Yeah. The longest part of it is waiting for that white spirit to dry. Yeah. But we can just give it a quick heat up with a blowtorch, it'll be done in five minutes. Excellent. It's good to go, good to hit. So now then, I want a little bit of rack glue at the back of the head. Okay. Plus a bit of grip. Can't think of anything else, I might like, maybe a little bit of, well that's it really. I mean, what would happen there? Well, I'm, I'm teeing off in 10 minutes, I'd pick that up when I get back. Um, yeah, the rack glue, we just need to make sure that's all dried up in the right location. So yeah. it, it does take about five minutes to set up. So in 10 minutes, you could go and take it out and hit it. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, we just need to make sure it's all set and dried up and not too hot, because that actually gets pretty warm out there, so. Probably picking that one up after. Probably, probably not a bad idea, yeah. yeah. And then how many kind of in an average day, because obviously some events are busier than others, aren't yep, they? Yeah, they are. How many repairs, stroke changes are you doing in a day? I mean, I've been on these trucks, you guys are busy. Right? Yeah, so close. this week was a good example at Dunhill. We did um, just short of 100 golf clubs this week. Okay. Um, as well as that, you've got regrips, got the lie checks, just general checks of what's going on. Average, I would say, probably 70 clubs a week yeah. in the three days we're there. So. And not the lie checks, do you have serial loft and lie checkers, as in players, or does it all, is it random? We do have a couple of serial loft and lie checkers weekly. Um, oh, really? Um, weekly. Yeah, weekly. Um, <laughs> most guys are once every month or so, they just bring them in, we check them out, make any adjustments that need to be made. Do you, do you see much movement? Not a great deal. No. Not a great deal. They might move like half a degree if they've hit them on the ground or something, or they yeah. might just move diffraction, but not a lot. No. And they travel as well. I they guess do. they're worried they about them getting clunked yep. around as they're going in Absolutely. and out of airports more yep. than if they were just yeah. at a local club. Some of the baggage handlers are not yeah. ideal to, you know, they chuck them about a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So. And then what's some of the most, uh, any of the kind of 
craziest things you've had to make or requests for clubs or is it all just very much because um, obviously <coughs> you've got stock holding so it kind of has to be almost within that stock mm-hmm. holding. Right? So I had a request this week, um, one of our players was doing some work on a uh, training technique Right. Um, so we've made a seven iron up from this week that he's been eight degrees flatter than standard. Okay, so, so that's a bit normal. Yeah, Brett, Brett Rumford. A Brett was. Yeah, okay. so he was doing some stuff on some training technique that he was working on. Um, he came in and said, "Can we bend it five flat?" And we went and went and went and ended up at eight degrees flat. And that so, was a seven iron. Yes. So it's yeah. a full swing move. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not only used; they're using you for everything, then, aren't they? Absolutely. Obviously, they're checking. Absolutely. They're building, yeah. changing, and tweaking. Yeah. But then they're also working it into yeah. their training as well. Yeah. So we had some one or two or three guys actually made a club that actually fits into their suitcase so they could work on that first part of their swing and their technique in their hotel room. A shorter one. You got it, you got it. So So we're doing all sorts of things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Made it home, always love a visit to the tour truck. It's just such a cool place to hang out. Definitely you get the coolest stories, the guys, the players are on there, they're kind of at their most relaxed. Um, it's a really cool place obviously for that also as well it's just a great place because so much comes off the tour truck so so much that's in clubs now kind of starts on the tour truck it's um, demoed by those players you think about sure fit hosel CG that's all coming from the players wanting certain things and that makes it quicker and easier for the tour truck staff to give that to their players and then it bleeds out into us in the consumer market it's definitely you always feel like you're kind of looking forwards in time a bit when you go on the tour truck it's fun right do you want to win this pretty poorly stamped wedge by me on the tour truck well it's 26 2.5 wedge uh it's kind of what it's kind of what it says you can win this it's a 58 12 degree d soul grind d grind 12 degree bounce 58 degree loft Vokey SM7 if you want to win this there'll be a link down below for Ed's charity if you haven't met Ed already we went and surprised him earlier in the year for his son's um, charity so if you hit that link anyone who's donated to that charity will have a chance of winning this you can be anywhere in the world I'll send it wherever you are we picked at random some point next week so get involved with that if you want to subscribe to the channel as well do because of the content don't because you want to win a prize don't be afraid to like the video as always if you've liked it we'll see you soon we have traveled actually to spain today so the next vlogs you'll see will be from spain um it should be a fun week see you soon